Hey guys, it's your girl Sydney and welcome back to my channel. I have been on YouTube for so long now, it's kind of crazy. I think I definitely needed a little bit of like a break, but I am here. I wanted to make this video today. I was really excited. I am filming off of an iPhone. So uh, let me know if this quality is okay. It's like the front camera too with a ring light. So if you guys see the ring light, just ignore it. If you're not like someone who's seen my videos before, my name's Sydney. I have been a YouTuber for a pretty long time. I have an OnlyFans page. I actually have two of them myself and OnlyFans can be used for a lot of different things. It's pretty popular right now. So I wanted to be able to talk to you a little bit about OnlyFans itself, how to make money on OnlyFans and just like things that you should be aware of because I believe in education on this stuff and I don't think you should go into it blindly. I believe that learning yourself is the best way to learn and grow and get experience. But at the same time, if I've made a mistake I don't want you to make it either so hopefully you enjoy this video if you need any information I will have stuff in the description for you definitely check it out but watch all the way through this video because there's gonna be good bad if you're someone that subscribes to people's OnlyFans pages maybe this will give you some more insight but yeah so anyways let's get into it so the first part of this video that I want to talk about is why you have an OnlyFans account if you're thinking about making one there's a couple different things a lot of people make one because they're just curious if they can make the amount of money that they see people making on the internet the next thing is if you have a fan base building connections connections with them, getting a little more personal because OnlyFans is like Patreon um, and a couple other sites. It's known for having adult content on it, but you can have an OnlyFans and have a ton of different stuff. The key is going into it and knowing what you want to post before you do it. Don't ever, you know, go into it and be like, I'm going to make this much money and not understand like why those people make that much money on there. So keep that in mind. So I just want to be very clear, you guys, like the content that I do post on there is what they normally talk about on OnlyFans. So from my experience, the reason why I have been successful on OnlyFans is because I've been doing it for almost four years now. And on top of that, I've stayed consistent and I've posted the stuff that I'm comfortable with posting with. There's a reason why I've stayed on there and that's because I have boundaries. And I think that everyone has their own boundaries for me. I definitely am very open-minded. Um, other people, the girls that like I have under my referral or I mentor, they might not post the same things I post and that's completely fine. But understanding like that thought process is key. Okay, so once you understand boundaries and things like that, we're gonna get more into boundaries in a second. It, but making connections with your fans, understanding why you're gonna have an OnlyFans account. The reason why I have my OnlyFans account, and I'm gonna be like explaining things a little bit more in this video about like me and myself, because I think it's important to understand like I've been doing it for so long. And if you wanna get into it and make it like a long term thing, you need to have that mindset of this is not just a quick money grab. This isn't just something that's gonna, you know, your time is worth money, but at the same time, it's not a quick cash grab. You're not gonna scam people because there are people who scam on there, and I never wanna be in that category. So um, that's why I'm explaining this stuff because I want the people who get this advice to have good reputations on OnlyFans, make their fans happy and be worth the money. So my mindset is to be able to get to know my fans better, give them high quality content. I've been on there for three to four years now. Since I started OnlyFans, I have grown a lot. I've gotten a lot of fans and I've I have a lot of people who have left my pages because either they have girlfriends, wives now, but like three years ago they didn't, or you know, maybe their wives caught them or <laughs> Even they just couldn't afford it. Understanding that you will have a lot of people who come and go during the time that you're on any site. And also this applies to anything. If you're on Fansly, OnlyFans, SP, a ton of different sites, then you'll you'll experience this Patreon, you know, you'll have people come and go. Understanding that building connections and having people, like I have some people who have stayed the entire time, like probably over a hundred people that have consistently been there and supported me. And we've been talking for like years and it's just amazing and like built really deep connections. They respect me. I respect them and it's just like really nice you know being able to like log on and like see that same username and like have those deep conversations but also like have fun and like you know they obviously are supporting me going to school and my medical bills and you know I have dogs and just rent and stuff so understanding that like these are real people behind a screen you're a real person and a lot of the time I think they think we're robots we can't handle certain things or we can handle way more we can be online 24 7 which just is not possible I probably sleep three hours a night uh, sometimes even not at night. So taking into account that like a lot of people are going to be asking you constantly to message them and having to set those boundaries, but still be a real person, you know, and um, being available when you can and giving what you can, if that makes sense. My mindset is literally like OnlyFans is definitely like a main source of my income. It's definitely something that I take a lot of time doing. I prob probably every day, like every day, you guys, I'm not always on the computer 24 seven, but uh, I spend about 16 to 20 hours every single day day working and if you guys were to see my room I have like a ton of outfits laid out right now and I'm gonna be filming some other content after this and then I'm gonna hop on my messages so it's one of those things where you have to treat it like it's a job 
up. You don't have to, but like these people are paying money to talk to you or to be subscribed to your page. So you have to offer content and just understanding like that, you know, these are real people behind the screen that are paying for these things and you're a real person too. And taking into account, like when you get really serious with this stuff, because some people have already been on other sites and then they're finally gonna join OnlyFans, your time is valuable too. You need a break every once in a while too. And I have to tell myself that all the time and it's really hard. The mindset is simple. I really want to get to know my fans. My time is valuable and so is their money. So if they're paying for something, like don't be a scammer. Don't, don't commit to things that you're not gonna do. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is when people are asking to buy certain things, there's two things that are gonna happen. One thing, you're down to sell it to them, whether it's a picture, a video, a Snapchat, whatever. You either are cool with selling it or you're not. And you need to understand that your boundaries are so important. I have had a lot of things happen in the past where I have not been comfortable with specific things or I've been very comfortable. I'm a pretty open-minded person and even certain things for me, I just am not comfortable with or talking about. Like there's certain things in my personal life that I don't like to talk about. Like for me, I don't really talk about my family very much unless I get like super, super close with someone. But even then I don't like to do that because that is something for me that is a boundary and understanding what your boundaries are. Some other boundaries that I have and I've had to put people in their place by just saying like, hey, this is really a little too much for me. Please respect my boundaries. And if they don't, they're not worth it. But most people do. So understanding that like you need to be able to put your foot down if you're not comfortable with something. The other thing is the type of content that people might ask for. I'm not going to get super into description, but like you can probably understand what I'm talking about. If you are not comfortable doing things with other people or anything like that, like maybe you just post like funny things on your OnlyFans, like cool, do that. But if someone asks for something, don't promise something you can't produce. Tell them, hey, this isn't in my comfort zone. I can't do this for you. And then if you know someone who can, cool. If you don't, just tell them you can't, you know, because I sometimes don't do certain things, but I have friends that do. And we just pass people who have different interests um, to each other. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. So boundaries are really important. And I think that keeping in mind when you start an OnlyFans, people are going to ask for a lot of things that you might not know about, things that you might be confused on. If you're not ready to do it, don't do it. I've been doing this for years now. And let me tell you, there are some things that I still am not okay with doing. Things that I want to do, but haven't been like comfortable enough yet to do. And then there's things that like I probably will never do. And then there's things that I actually just did recently that I haven't had the opportunity to do and I wasn't ready for and I finally did it and things last year that I did and the year before I hadn't done. So understanding that it's okay to say no and always say no. It's also okay to change your mind when you're ready and do something that you said you weren't ready to do before. So um, just keeping that in mind and understanding like what you are okay with and what you aren't is important. Don't ever sell your soul for something that people are asking for if you're not comfortable with it because it will violate you and it'll make you feel really bad. And there's things that I've definitely done that like, probably won't do again, you know, cause I felt like bad afterwards. The next thing too, is there are rules on OnlyFans and other sites, making sure that you keep up with terms of service because recently, I don't know if you guys have seen the news and everything, but like this past year, there has been so many changes to the OnlyFans site and there's probably more changes coming, but keeping up with the rules and understanding, like you can't meet people in person on that site. Okay, that's not allowed. Uh, so just like understanding the rules so you don't get in trouble is key. You don't post public stuff. I'm trying to think of other rules, but there's like a lot of rules like, no, you know, I'm not gonna talk about on here, but the biggest thing is like keeping up to date with these terms and rules and understanding like you can't give your phone number out on there. They don't want you messaging on like other apps called like Telegram, WhatsApp, you know, all those things. So just keeping in mind that they have rules themselves. So if fans are asking for you to do certain things and you can't even do them on there, don't do not do that for a little bit extra money. It's not worth it. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is you can have two pages at a time under your ID. So say you have a boyfriend or you have a girlfriend or you have just someone in your life that you like to be a little spicy with, uh, you guys could technically have up to four pages, but you as a person can each have two. So I have a paid page and I have a free page. They are great pages, love them. Uh, my free page is great for people who have never really had OnlyFans, don't really know what to expect from it, wanna buy specific things from me or specifically like have conversations with me. That's what my free page is for. Then I have a paid page, which is all inclusive, no unlocking, everything that is considered like not super like crazy. It, and by crazy, I'm using this word because we're on YouTube, but the things that people ask for that are considered special are requests, if that makes sense. Any type of videos, pictures I take, which I have over 700 videos on there and I have like 9,000 pictures or something are all unlocked on the feed. So there's a very different part. So someone who knows that they like me, they want to see my stuff. They can just go to the VIP, which is like a much better price in my opinion, because I've had all my content there for so long. Then there's the free page, which you can like get people in there. And if they have specific interests, 
interest or they just want to talk to you or whatever else you want to offer there's there so i highly recommend having two pages if you are debating on like which one you want to have first because that's really overwhelming having two i would highly recommend having a free page like i said in the description i have more information if you want it i also have my email if you have any more questions i highly recommend asking me them my email will be in the description if you have a vip page like the way that i have mine set up i would highly recommend making sure that you are actually putting out content in a timely manner so they know what they can expect with that price because if they're spending their hard-earned money on you and i really appreciate when my fans do my supporters but you need to know like they need to know what they're spending their money on so if you're going to do a vip page definitely like make sure that you are ready to commit to that and then if you have a free page the way that i have mine set up i go into a lot more depth for people that want to email me you can but for my free page i basically send out stuff for them to unlock that is considered ppv which is pay per view they do that on patreon they do that on like a ton of other sites but they basically get to unlock like a la carte how they want it so when you're on a menu you can either order the whole combo meal which is my vip or you can just a la carte go to the sides and pick what sides you want that is how i run my two pages uh the biggest thing is just knowing that like it takes a lot of time and energy and effort and like i said i sleep about three hours work 16 to 20 hours a day every single day and there's very few days that i take off um maybe every year i take like i mean i work every holiday so i love what i do though so it's like a little bit different my family knows too my family is very supportive but i think the biggest thing is just understanding like you're gonna be putting in a lot of time and effort it's not always like easy quick and whatever you can come up with routines to get better at it and efficient like i'm pretty quick with stuff now because i figured out what works for me how to be quicker if you need help with that email me but yeah so i think that's the biggest thing is just understanding it, it, it does take effort like you're not going to be making what these girls on tiktok are promoting because you need to put in effort a lot of these girls work really hard and they don't always talk about all the effort and time and energy that goes into making the stuff and then putting it out there and then promoting it and then you know there's a lot of different pieces so the next thing that i want to talk about is making deals and bundles so for me personally i go into like depth a lot more with the people that i mentor but i will tell you right now deals and bundles are so important and so amazing because for me personally i send out my new videos on my free page and this is mainly like a free page thing because everything on vip gets posted on the feed but on my free page every time i make a new video i send it out for them and i tell them hey this is a new video this is what's in it this is if there's someone else in it this is what else and then um sometimes i do a preview picture sometimes i don't and then i charge for it right then if there's a holiday or just a day where i'm like oh let me give my fans a deal or a bundle that's special for them then i like to do that too so sometimes those deals are like if i've worked with like a specific person multiple times like suzanne ferrari Paige steel um megan marks cc rose Sarah J. I worked with a lot of people. It's really hard to remember off the top of my head, but sometimes I do bundles where I will take all the stuff that I've made with them and I'll sell it for one price in one unlock. And then anytime someone unlocks, it'll end up in their purchase tab, which is so important because that makes it easy for them to find it when they want to like actually watch what they paid for or look at what they paid for. It might be a picture. The big thing is like giving deals and bundles and things that they might be interested in. Like sometimes I do like a deal that is, uh, and these deals are like actually deals. I'm not saying like deal like that, but I'm quoting it as in like whatever the deal is, but a deal could literally be tip $50 for a full like chatting session with me, or it could be $25 unlock and you get all of my stuff with Paige. So and not maybe 25, maybe like 40, but that was just an example. So hopefully that is helpful. Hopefully that makes sense. The next thing is talking about upselling that I wanted to mention. When you are talking to fans, everyone has different interests. Everyone has different things. I have guys who are obsessed with my belly, no joke, my armpits. Those are definitely something and feet for sure. But like feet is so common. My belly though, a lot of people like to watch me eat as well. So a lot of people ask me, they'll be like, hey, can I like send you this amount of money and you make me a video of you eating? And I'll be like, actually, like I personally don't take customs right now. This is just a thing uh, for me because I have such pride in like how I like to run my customs. So like, I don't take that. I just send it locked when I like make it. Um, but that's just a personal preference. So I'll tell people, I'll say, hey babe, like really glad to know that you like my belly. And then I keep them in mind and in the future i either add to like their their profile that has like notes you can like write notes about them. I write that they like my belly or I have a list where I can add them to that list. And this is so nice because sometimes like it's really hard to like 
find a profile like that. Like you can remember people's names, but some people don't tell you their name and their username is just all numbers. So having those lists is important because then I can just go to the list and find that specific person and send them that thing. Yeah, so like I recently filmed myself eating like McDonald's and stuff and that was super fun because I made it for one person who had been asking, I think they've been asking since June, no joke. And I, I've been trying to eat healthy y'all. So I was not eating McDonald's. And then I finally one night was like, you know what? He's been asking for this, I'll make it. And I just send it to him locked. So that's something else that's really awesome. If you know that someone likes something specific, but you're maybe not in the mood to make it yet. Or for me, a lot of it's mental health. When I film myself eating, I have to like mentally prepare for it. I also have uh, people who want me to call myself fat. I have to be mentally prepared for that too. So putting in the note, like what they want is really helpful because then you can always like remember it and go back. So yeah, upselling is great. So I usually upsell ratings, new content that's like very specific and special. So if I take pictures in new heels or if I take bikini stuff, like I have some people who like to see me try on my new outfits, stuff like that. I just kind of make sure that I have it organized where I know who likes what and then I can actually send it to them. The other thing too is you want to make sure that like when you are upselling that you're taking into account like the type of people that you're talking to because you're going to have different types of fans. You're going to have the fans that genuinely can only afford a certain amount and then you have other people who definitely can afford like anything and everything and you need to take that into account because if you're constantly pushing someone and pushing and pushing and pushing for them to like pay for more and more and more and they're telling you like hey this is really like my last dollar I highly recommend like understanding like these people are still paying don't keep pushing them or making them feel bad if they can't keep paying like I think that like there's a if they keep asking for free stuff there's that's not okay if they are willing to wait until they can pay for something you need to be patient in my opinion and that's just something that like I think a lot of people they get into this and they forget that someone isn't a real person like when I was twitch streaming I made very very close uh friendship with this fan on twitch and then he ended up coming over to my other stuff and that was amazing and awesome and like i really appreciate him he started having problems like his car was breaking down he lost his job then covid hit like all this stuff you know and he still paid for my vip and obviously i was talking to him every day and then he was like hey sid i really want this but I can't pay for it right now. Do you think in the future you'd be able to do it when I can pay for it? And I was like, oh, of course, like totally. It was something that you have to remember. Like if someone mentions that, don't push them to pay for it right now. If they specifically are telling you like, I cannot pay for this, but they're still, he still paid for my VIP. So there was no problem. It was literally like a heads up that he wanted that. He just couldn't afford it yet. So that is something that you need to know. And then fans need to also understand like, this is a job. This is definitely how I pay my bills. I spend so much time and energy and effort doing this. You are a real person. This is like, your life and setting boundaries is key. So like if people are asking for things and you don't have time to do it right now, or they pay for something but didn't discuss it ahead of time, like you don't owe them anything, especially if someone tips something and you never discussed it. And then they send you a tip and say, this is what I want. You don't owe them anything unless you discussed it, agreed upon it. And then they tipped. That is just a tip in my, and this is something that like a lot of people, you know, agree with, but understanding that you are a real person, you're not a robot. Um, and fans just needing to understand, like you do need time to sleep you do need time to make the video like it's not gonna happen instantly I try to do things pretty quickly but even I need time too so but if you guys have any specific questions if you guys need help anything like that you can email me my email is info at fitsid.com I really really appreciate you and I hope that this video helped you out I hope that it gave you some insight and just know that there are plenty of other sites if you don't want to be on OnlyFans that's okay if you do Great. Just understanding that like once you put content out on the internet, it is going to be there forever. And then understanding as well that it takes effort. If you don't want to promote yourself, probably isn't going to be for you. If you're down to promote yourself, great. Awesome. Reach out to me. If you have any specific questions, leave them in the comments down below, but you can also email me. So yeah, this video was for educational purposes only. I want to make sure that if people are like seeing all these TikTok videos or other YouTube videos, that you're understanding the full spectrum of everything. So I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you have an amazing day. If you are interested in anything, it will all be in the description down below. Bye guys.